Hi, I'm Carla Matsky. This is Matsky Fine Art Gallery and Sculpture Park. Uh, in 2008, I opened up my new gallery. Uh, for 19 years, I owned a gallery with Jack Hunter, another fellow artist in, on Camino Island, and we owned History of the World Part 4. Uh, what I wanted to add was a 10 acre sculpture park. I'm a sculptor and painter myself. Um, and where the idea came from was years ago when I was in my teens, I was fortunate enough to be able to visit the Davis Smith Estate in Bolt Landing, New York. So when I would go there, his property was just full of his own sculptures. And uh, it was a big influence on me as far as a sculpture myself. So when I was looking for the right property, I was looking for a place that I could combine both gallery and a sculpture park. So the nice thing about this particular property was uh, the people owned it prior had built basically a warehouse, not a window in it. And to me it was like an empty canvas. Um, I could design the type of gallery space uh, that I thought would have a lot of natural light with four garage doors that could also open and bring in large sculptures but also provide a lot of um, great natural lighting for showing up um, the artwork and the glasswork that I have here. I also, um, when I was developing the property, I wanted to feel natural. So when you're going through the property afterwards on the 10 acres, you can envision seeing sculpture in your own property um, and in your own landscaping. So I wanted to feel like it was part of the landscaping um, throughout the park. glass work with Carla for about five years and it's a wonderful experience to have the outdoors to show the work in this beautiful park setting. This is a style that I've uh, innovated myself. It's based on ancient Roman technique called pot de verre which means paste of glass and uh, ancient Romans used tiny little sugar crystal sized pieces of glass and I've started using quarter inch chunks of glass which gives me these wonderful edges. My name is, is Richard Nash. Um, I'm from North Woodby Island. Uh, I do both painting, abstract painting and abstract sculpture. The piece right here is in core 10 steel. Uh, it's approximately 10 feet tall with the base and it's designed so that when you, from a distance, you can see the really solid forms, but when you get up closer to it and start walking around it, you can see the play on the interior planes. So it's really um, a, a pretty interesting piece. The core 10 will mature in approximately eight to 10 years and then it will stabilize and, and will basically quit oxidizing. The artists I've chosen to represent in the gallery are those that have been established in the Northwest, um, most of them very professional, full-time artists, but as well as regional artists from the Northwest, um, I also, for many years, have shown a lot of the Pilchuck Glass Staff's work. Uh, I used to do a show at my older gallery called the Pilchuck Staff Show. 
And there I met artist Hiroshi Yamano from Japan, and to this day I still show his wonderful, beautiful glass works, as well as several of the other uh, continued staff at Pilcha. Um, I'm a glass artist and sculptor, and she's been showing my work for years. Um, these are some solid sculpted uh, glass vessels. Um, that These are my markers and Palm Page Squared. Hi, I'm Leanna Bennett, and I hail from Bothell. I've been with Carla since History of the World Fine Arts with Jack and Carla when they ran the gallery there. And I've been with Carla doing figurative work here. And it's really exciting to be with someone, to be with Carla who is such a patron of the arts and supportive. I can bring any painting in here and she's supportive. It can be an abstract and a figure another day. And Carla has been an amazing curator and hangs a, a wonderful show. Hi, I'm Lanny Little. And these are my paintings. They're acrylics. I love to paint the Northwest light. I hail from Bellingham, Washington, and I'm very pleased to be in the Maskey Summer Show. Philip Levine. I'm. Uh, Currently living in Burien, which used to be unincorporated King County, uh, I've been uh, associated with Carla uh, in the gallery years ago. From years ago, with the small sculpture, sh small art show, and with her, maybe I guess 30 or some 40 years. Uh, she's a wonderful person, gallery owner, and artist herself. Uh, this piece, which I call "Roped." Uh, I've gotten intrigued with doing, over many years, doing sculptures within structures and what, what they're doing within the structures. So it's, I don't know, I can't explain exactly what he's doing. You have to figure it out for yourself. Because if you ask the artist what's, what, it, what, was, it, what was the intent when you were doing it, is I'll say, which intent was going on? How many intents do you have when you do anything? So the idea of a figure being roped is intriguing for many reasons, and it's up to the viewer to bring uh, either their angst or joy out of it themselves. I am Julia Hawk. I'm from Seattle, formerly from the East Coast. And my pieces, they are made com with complete um, salvaged wood, salvaged and repurposed wood. Latex paint on top. These pieces were made, uh, painted first each stick and then assembled. Later pieces I'm putting together, uh, what's over there, um, painting afterwards. They take about a month each to make. The future goals for the place is to continue doing more workshops. Um, the past few years I have done three-day retreats here, whether it's painting, painting with pastel, um, figurative painting, as well as a stone carving workshop. So my goals down the road is to build approximately eight cabins here that would be able to house a couple artists um, per cabin, build another building uh, just for teaching and workshops here. Um, so that's something that I'm working on and that, it, that I love doing here. I change the shows every month and a half, but I'd say about every three months I do a workshop here and it's just fantastic.